Right. Before you start hating on me and say, Mike, we're not drinking celery juice and eating cardboard, all right, to help our MS, then luckily this is not one of those videos. But maybe, just maybe, I might have found something to give us a little edge. So keep watching and I'll tell you exactly what this little edge might be, all right? And it don't even taste of anything. So don't worry about anything being celery juice or anything. So we're all told to rest with MS. Um, but, you know, what if I told you it was a simple, cheap supplement, which may make our muscles work better, even with multiple sclerosis? What would you say to that? You'd say, Mike, tell us more. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. This supplement is called creatine. Now, don't switch off and say this is not a bodybuilding channel. This is a channel about, uh, about you know, MS. So tell us what creatine is then, Mike, right? Before we start chucking this in water in a shaker bottle with protein shakes and stuff like that. I'm going to tell you what creatine is, right? We have all got creatine in our bodies, okay? In small amounts, we've got it. It's a natural compound which is found um, in your, your muscles and your brain. It helps your body produce quick bursts of energy, the kind you need to like lift something or stand up, or if you're lucky enough, to walk. But after a while, fatigue hits, as we know. So think of creatine as like a, a backup battery for your muscles. Your body already makes a small amount, and you get some from like, you know, meat and fish and things like that. But supplements top up those stores, giving your cells a bigger energy reserve. <clears throat> so we normally um, take supplements and things like that. But this is just something which might give us a little edge. So when you live with MS, that little extra energy buffer can make a massive difference kind of just just a little bit more energy where you haven't got to like sit down for half an hour after you've got a shower or just doing the simple things like making a sandwich or you know just walk into the the washing machine or something like that so this is where it gets interesting as we know um and i'm going to go through it again because i like going through it um with ms the immune system damages a protective coating which is the myelin which is around our nerves so that slows down the messages between our brain and muscles. So even when, you know, you want to move, the message can get delayed, distorted, or in most cases, lost completely. So that means your muscles have to work harder just to do simple things. So whether it's walking, standing, transfers, etc., um, it drains your energy, as we know. So, you know, you can see where, where we're going with this. So, you know, that's why fatigue feels so bad with MS, because it's not just being tired, it's our cells struggling to make more energy. So what if you had something that you could put in your body to give your cells more energy? Wow, imagine that, and I've got that for you. So this is where creatine comes in. It works inside your cells to help recycle something called ATP. Um, I'm not going to get all scientific on you, but ATP is your body's main fuel source. Um, and when your ATP runs out, your muscles stop working properly. Okay, so creatine helps recharge that so your cells can keep going for a little bit longer before they're totally drained and the heavy feeling sort of sit you know sets in so no it's definitely not a magic cure you know it doesn't cure anything but it can help your muscles and even your brain use energy more efficiently and for me you know i've been taking it for for a couple of months and it's surprising how much more energy you actually get so you might think well what can this mean in, in real life, Mike? You know, I want to know what, what's going to happen. So, you know, you might get a lot more muscle strength, especially in your legs. You know, less muscle fatigue after, you know, after you've moved somewhere or, you know, after like a physio appointment or, or something like that. Um, 
you know, better endurance for everyday tasks. Um, as we mentioned, like walking or your transfers or, or just standing for a little bit longer. Improved brain energy as well. Some, some studies suggest it can support, you know, focus and cognitive clarity, which is another thing which we struggle with. You know, protection against muscle loss, which is another thing which we all worry, worry about. You know, it's a big deal if your mobility is limited. So for people with MS, creatine isn't about bodybuilding. It's about function. Helping your muscles do more with the signals which they get. Um, you know, and it's a win in my book, isn't it? It's, it's an absolute no-brainer. You take this little supplement of powder in some water it doesn't even taste of anything and it helps your muscles so you know i've mentioned before i'm 49 now um and once you pass your mid 40s you naturally start losing muscle every single year part of getting old you know and it's it's one of the biggest reasons people lose independence as they age you know and with ms that could happen a lot quicker so, you know, mobility is already a challenge for me personally. And that muscle, you know, it's, that muscle loss is going to happen faster. And that's why keeping your strength that we've already got is absolutely vital. So creatine can help slow down the muscle losing process. You know, it supports maintenance, improves recovery, and can even help balance and bone strength. You know, indirectly through, you know, better movement, you're going to get that, aren't you? So there's research showing that older adults who take creatine, even without MS, see better muscle function, fewer falls and improved quality of life. So why not just transfer that to us? So if you compi- combine that with um, sort of, you know, gentle resistance work, physio or, you know, upper body exercises... You're giving that body, your body a fighting chance to stay stronger for longer. And that is what we want. So at 49, I'll take every advantage I can get. You know, whatever, whatever it is, I'll give it a whirl. Because you don't lose anything by trying it. There's no side effects from it. You know, it's not as if uh, you're taking some kind of kind of drug where you're going to get side effects and things like that. It's just a natural compound which is already in your body and you're just topping it up. So, you know, you could look at it and think there was a there was a small study as has gone with and about people with MS who took creatine and improved their walking distance and they reported m- much less muscle fatigue. You know, and there's other trials as well which have shown better upper body strength and quicker recovery after exercise. Now, not every study has found big changes you know some showed modest improvements um others showed none but is the thing no one you know none found any harmful harmful effects you know take it properly don't take too much and you can be absolutely fine so given how much creatine has been researched over you know it's, i believe it's about 500 studies which have done it you know it's one of the safest safe i can't even speak today It's one of the safest supplements out there. You know, researchers also think that it may support your mitochondrial health, which is, you know, basically the little power stations inside your cells, which are often under stress in MS. So it's another benefit from it. And it's, you know, it's not just about muscles. It's about helping your whole energy system run smoother. Um, I think it's, it's really exciting. I'm, you know... Say I've been taking it for a couple of months and it's been brilliant. So if you're thinking about giving it a go, is it to do it safely? And it, it's, it's so easy, you know, by all means, you know, come back to this video if you need it. But, you know, stick with creatine. It's the most researched and most affordable. Take three to five grams that's usually one small scoop. A lot of the, the packs come with small scoops. Um, and there's no need to, you know, load or cycle, you know, just take it consistently, ideally around the same time of day. Um, it's that easy. 
just keep it, you know, is it with your morning morning water or something like that. Just, you know, take a little, take a little bit. Um, you know, and if you're worried about it, have a chat to your MS nurse or your, your GP. Um, just to say, look, I'm thinking about taking creatine. What do you think? So the worst sort of side effects, which which I've even heard of when I've been researching that, is you might get a bit of bloating for the first few days. But, you know, I when I took it, I didn't get anything at all. You know, and I've taken some supplements in my time, which made me feel a little bit weird. But, uh, you know, I wasn't expecting a miracle. I just wanted to see if it could help. You know, will it help with my fatigue? You know, I've mentioned that I've started strength training a little bit more. Will it help with that? But the first thing I did notice is my legs didn't feel quite as heavy. um, And I wasn't crashing during the day so much. I still was. You know, don't get me wrong, you still get your, your lull in the afternoon. But, you know, I was feeling a little bit different. You know, I was feeling a lot happier in myself and things like that from taking it. So, you know, it's something for you to think about. As with all my videos, you know, I'm not a medical professional. No way, shape or form, so this is not medical advice. This is just something which you can have a look at and think, do I want to try that? Because... It's, it's a cheap supplement to take and, you know, I think it's worth doing. So give it a go. If you've been trying creatine, put it in the comments below. Um, if you're thinking about it, anyone ask some questions again, put it in the comments. Um, I've done a, another video quite a while ago now about supplements which I take, other supplements which I take, and I'll put, pop that in the description so you can have a look um, through that. But... It's not going to stop your MS progression, you know, it's not a miracle, it's not a cure, it's nothing like that, but it might give you that little edge, and if you use it with something called yoga, it might work even more.